It is your man, DM Cool. And now, welcome back to Cool Radio. As promised, people, we have our main adventure for tonight. She is a former guest of Cool Radio, and as I like to call my former guest, a Hall of Fame member of Cool Radio, if I may say so myself. She is a singer and songwriter, and she put out her EP, Woman, back when we first did this interview in August. And since then, a whole lot has changed for her. She has opened up for certain artists. She has performed on national TV. Yes, people, I got that VIP treatment going on over in here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I am talking about the lovely and talented and very creatively, artistically sound artist in here. She goes by the name of Taya Marquez. Taya, how's it going? Hey, thanks for that awesome intro. Wow. You know, it's kind of, kind of like what I like to do every now and again, so so, but hey, it's what I do. Now, enough about me. Let's talk about you because it's all about you tonight, okay, right? Okay, okay. So, the people want to know how has the reception been for women since oh it came out? Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's, I, I'm guessing that's a good thing. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's it's been uh, it's been amazing. Mm -hmm. um, just to say the least. Um, I a couple things, a couple big things like. I opened up for Tinashe mm -hmm. recently when she came. She did on her Aquarius tour. She mm -hmm. did um, the the Toronto. She stopped by in Toronto at the uh, tattoo mm -hmm. venue, and I was there and I opened up for her. And um, I got to a couple more things. I got to perform on CP twenty four. So that was really cool. I did an interview with them, uh, and I. Um, what else have I? Done? I've done a few shows um, mm -hmm. in Toronto, um, and I'm and I'm going to be doing uh, headlining my first headlining show um, in April, April seventeenth. Okay. So yeah, I definitely want all of y'all who are listening to That's come right, out, people. support the you know Canadian Toronto local. Well, I'm from Mississauga, but support. Hey, so it's all local, good. Bitch. I'm from <laughs> city. Support the local uh, talent. Yes. So yeah. Absolutely. So basically, you've gone Hollywood, but not too Hollywood to come back here to no, see if I'm going to do it. No, never too Hollywood. <laughs> no, screw that. No, no, no Hollywood. I, yeah. I, I'm not like that. I don't like that. Absolutely. Mentality. Absolutely. It's, it's like when, uh, it's like when, um, what's his name? Uh, Dr. Dre said yeah. in Kendrick's album, he's like, <laughs> what did he say? Oh, on, on the new one? Yeah, he's it's like, like um, anyone can get it, it's how you keep it. Yeah, okay, thank you. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't feel you were talking about that. Oh, so you, so you listen to Kendrick Gallagher? Yes. Okay, yeah. okay. We'll, we'll get we'll get to that later okay, on. Okay, okay. Uh, but nonetheless, yeah, no, that's that's a good that's a good uh, quote actually. So, um, one of the things that you did, you know, during that time, you put out the video for for Obsession as well too. So, how did the the yeah. concept of the video come about? Yeah, you know what? It's been so long that I came here. I don't even know what was in between and yeah. what I did before. At least it's happened so, so fast. Yeah. <laughs> so Obsession, yes, of course. Thank you for reminding me. So obs I did a music video for Obsession because I remember last time I came, you, mm -hmm. you played the single. And since then, I um, I put the... I put the... Um, the, <laughs> the music video, mm -hmm. I did... Um, I did a treatment for that. And it went. It worked very well. It actually, the directors um, really saw my vision um, mm -hmm. with the whole bed scene and the female, my female dancers, mm -hmm. and I really wanted that to come through. Um, and and like the rest of the video, mm -hmm. um, so it's been doing really well. They they played it up uh, on CB Twenty Four. Yeah, Omni TV is also supporting. Supporting that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And rightfully so, too. And so, like, when you're getting, like, all, all the support from, um, like, all these TV networks and stuff like that, on top of that, you have been performing, or you open up for, for Tanache, and you have your own show, um, your own show that you'll be headlining. Like, how does that make you feel that, like, do, do you almost feel like it's almost all happening so fast? Um, you know, I, it is definitely happening very fast. Um, but I've been I've been grinding for like ten years, yeah. probably more. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really happy and I'm really really thankful and mm -hmm. I'm really um, just grateful for all any success that mm -hmm. um, is happening. And to be honest, like I feel 
I feel very uh, comfortable in my in my element in myself mm -hmm. um, as an artist, as a songwriter, as a human being. Mm -hmm. I, I so I'm ready to take on any any um, challenges or any opportunities that comes that comes my way right now. Um, maybe two years ago I wasn't ready. So mm -hmm. like I, it might def it's probably all happening very fast. But to me in in this headspace that I'm in, it's like. Let's go. Let's do this. I'm ready. Like I, I, I've put in ten years of work. Like I'm, I've been waiting. <laughs> you know. So I'm, I'm really excited about all the opportunities and, um, yeah, just getting, trying to get more and get more out there and yeah. That's a study. That's just a cool job actually, right there. Oh, wrong job. Never mind. But definitely get that cool. All, all the <laughs> right there. Anyways, cool. there you go. See, there you go. Oh man. My buttons are not working today, but no worries at all. We will get that fixed. Anyways, enough about all that stuff. Back to you now. Uh, creatively, uh, what would you say is the biggest uh, challenge for you in the songwriting process? Uh, creatively, I am. I'm always working with songwriters. I love to collaborate. So shout out any songwriters or producers out there you mm -hmm. know that want to collaborate. Um, Local talent is amazing. Um, Toronto has great talented, great talent, um, producers, songwriters, just, yeah, great talent. So, um, you know, my biggest challenge would be to, when I'm writing, mm -hmm. um, I, ha I've, I've ha I have a lot of experiences of different things, like good things and yeah. crazy, crazy things in, that have happened in life. Um, but the biggest challenge is to not, like, I guess the biggest challenge is to really pull that out of me and put it in a song. Like, mm -hmm. I want to speak to my audience. Yeah. Um, but I will say with the songwriters that I work with, mm -hmm. they they really help me to um, to really pull that out of me and mm -hmm. and to not be afraid to put it to put it on paper or on a track or yeah. in the music. They they really help me to word it correctly mm -hmm. or you know. Um, Give the right emotion, evoke the right emotion. Absolutely. So, so they help you, they coach you, they kind of like you know stream you along the right way, basically, and just help you harness your talent in a sense. Yes. Yeah. For sure. Um, some of the writers and producers. Can I shut them out? Of course, please. Okay. <laughs> so Laniki, uh, Neo Tempest. Is yeah, the boy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Neo Tempest, mm -hmm. uh, the, who produced the whole Woman EP. Um, and Alexandra Somalias, uh, pretty much, yeah, those mm -hmm. are the, the producers. And then there's a, a few more that I, I'm going to keep on the hush. Okay, okay. You know, I can't reveal everything. Yes. You'll, you'll know sooner. Secret later. society, all we ask for is trust. <laughs> Words of hope. <laughs> Absolutely. No, I, I, I can definitely dig it. Now, you being a songwriter, you, you've uh, written for other artists as well, too. Uh, I remember uh, when you were first here, you mentioned how you, you uh, wrote a couple songs for Britney Spears as well, too. Uh, now, whenever you are writing for someone and then they use your song and then like you hear like how, how great of a song it is, is there ever a time where you're like, damn, I should have kept it for myself? Like, did you ever have those moments? Oh, my gosh. Um... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No, because uh -huh. because I can always write another one. <laughs> it's too easy for a lady. It's too easy. <laughs> no, yeah, honestly, no, because it's still my baby, mm -hmm. and um, and if uh, another artist does does you know um, does it well, yeah. If they if they do a bad job, then probably I yeah. Think, but then, then it looks bad on then you. Then it then yeah. it's not. But I don't. You know, I I try to work with, uh, you know, good talent and mm -hmm. yeah. So um, no, actually, I don't get possessive. I I create the babies so that they can so they they can go and yeah. explore the world. Exactly. Whoever whoever's best for them. Absolutely, I I like that analogy actually. The babies explore. The babies. The baby. The baby song. Yeah, absolutely. Now. Okay, so uh, one thing I want to ask you, actually, uh, a lot of artists, um, 
they like to venture into different forms of like, arts and entertainment. So they may like to go into like television or movies or something to that extent. Um, have you ever contemplated that before? Oh my gosh, yes. I definitely want to go into acting. Okay. I want to cry. I want to cry. Like I, I just want to be artistic in mm -hmm. every way possible. The only thing I can't do is draw and be like visual, like a yeah. visual artist. Yeah. Um, but as far as acting, singing, songwriting. Anything that, that's creative, I just love to do. Um, mm -hmm. Anything that allows me to be creative, I love to do. Even like, even business, because business is creating thing like opportunity. Yeah, business is also creative, so. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, definitely acting, um, even, no, for sure acting. Okay. Uh, I was thinking about something else, and then I'm like, no, I shouldn't say that. No, that's what, what, what were you no, thinking No, I about? can't. <laughs> You've already cracked open Pandora's box just a little bit. You can't, you can't be like, oh, I have a secret, but I'm not gonna tell. No, give the people what they want. No, 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 <laughs> no. My mind is crazy, so I shouldn't be saying everything that's in there. Fair enough, fair enough. On your third appearance of Cool Beer, we're gonna get it out of you, though. <laughs> no. Oh, trust me. DM got his ways. Uh -huh. I got my ways. Uh -huh. Now, if you had to play a role in any movie, what role would it be? Like, what role do you envision yourself in? Ugh. Oh my gosh, the notebook. Oh wow, we're going with the 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 the, uh, the, the romance. <laughs> yes, yes, I would totally play. Um, what's her name? Noah and uh, Ali. 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 Yeah. I don't know these characters, so whatever you're saying, <laughs> I will believe you. <laughs> I believe it's Ali. Mm -hmm. um, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> yes. Uh, the, the, the um the female. She's Canadian, actually. Oh, okay, um, there you go. Okay. What's her What's her name? Rachel McAdams. Okay, I've heard that name before. Oh okay. Gosh. Yes, Rachel McAdams' role. I would totally love to do that role. I would love to cry and be passionate and make love, uh, like, you know, all yeah. that. Just, it's so real and so, yeah. Exactly. You just want that whole artistic feeling, basically. Yeah. That's the stuff, that's the stuff I can get with that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, you are now tuned to CFRE Radio 91.9 FM. It is your man, DM Koo, and you are live on the air with Tatum Marquis. She's in the building talking about her current experiences within the music industry and going forward as well, too. Now, Tia, you've been here before, so yes. you're no stranger to what we like to do around here. Oh, yeah. Um, we like to play games yeah, around I like, here. I like a game. I, I like a games I too. I like a games. I like a games. Come on, I got headphones on. I'm reading your lips. How can I not catch that? That that's gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna like splice that and make that like, make that like a drop. You know what I mean? Like whenever we have the game for you, you're gonna be like, I like a game. Oh <laughs> Me God. like you don't see. Okay. <laughs> Every time it plays. There you go. There, you know what? We'll, we'll talk to the CanCon. You know, we'll see if we can figure out how to deal with them, nonetheless. <laughs> um, so the first game that we have lined up, this one is called Obsessed. Okay, and clearly it's based off of your hit single Obsession and what have you. Right. So in this game, um, you have to choose what you have a strong obsession for, and I have the uh, things listed. Uh, this is right here on my Mac computer. Um, so, with that being said, I am going to list them out and you tell me whether or not you are obsessed with it or you're not. Okay. All right. The first one, Netflix. Uh, obsessed. Okay. Well, not anymore since the hundred is done. Since I've done, since I've been done watching the hundred, I'm waiting for the season three. Okay. Okay. I was like, the hundred is that like the hundred? Oh my gosh! You should start watching it. Okay. Okay. You're gonna be, be obsessed. Because I love how you type that in. Perfect. I could have scripted it better myself. Okay. Um. Next one. This was an obvious one. Arts. Obsessed. Okay. Chocolate. Obsessed. There you go. Oh, women love chocolate. Yeah. Dark I, I, chocolate too. And I, I know you. Said hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you said it last. You know we did this last time. We went, <laughs> we went through this last time, and you're like dark chocolate. Did, did it really? I, yes, I can't remember did. that. Yes, we did. That was like, like eons ago. <laughs> oh man, we, we always end up talking about dark chocolate on your show. And listen, I just mentioned chocolate. I didn't say any coating of chocolate. I didn't say the box. I didn't say if it was Werther's original or if it was like dark chocolate obsessed. Shout out to all my brothers out there. You know, shout out to all my Africans. Oh, wow. <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> 
<laughs> all right, next one. Um, sports. Uh, not at all. No, it's like, like X-Nay. It's like X -nay. <laughs> all right, next one. Um, Ratchet Entertainment. Uh, no. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> no. A lot of people, is, is, that's like their guilty pleasure. You know, I like that. I like memes, like Ratchet and oh, yeah. memes on Instagram. Oh, yeah, anyone can do, get with I that. do like those. Those will, I will laugh at. Anyone can, get, anyone can get with that. And the final one, um, as I like to call them, the Kardashian clan. Uh, no. Not obsessed. No kid. No kid. No, I'm, I'm obsessed with the, the baby, North. I love uh, her. Bless her heart. I um, love her. And I'm obsessed with Kanye. But if that's tied into uh, the Kardashians, I guess. It, it is kind of... Well, after all, he is Mr. Ka Kardashian, so he kind of is. But, nonetheless, at least you're not tied into, like, the root of it, like, Kris Jenner and all those... No, all those no, ghouls and sorry, goblins. No, I'm sorry, no. <laughs> I feel so sorry for Northwest, because she's going to be pimped out, like, the rest of her aunts and siblings and what have you. Oh, yikes. Ugh. Anyways. Probably not, because Kanye will have his two cents in it. Kanye has lost all sanity. <laughs> Whenever when you put that bullshit out Jesus album, he lost all sanity. Okay, I, don't, I didn't say it, you did. You damn right I did. I'm breaking the fourth wall as I say it too. Anyways, um, that's another story for another episode. Uh, now it's time to play the second game, which is a mainstay amongst all of our guests. And you already know what this one is. <laughs> I quit the game. Oh yes, yes, yes. All right, so you're no stranger to this game, yes, yes. Uh, but I will remind the audience at home listening and uh, the ones who will be watching in the future, courtesy of YouTube, um, you are, you know, the eligible bachelorettes in this ultimate universe. You are wheeling and dealing, kiss stealing, jet flying, limousine riding, um, trailblazing, eyebrow raising. Um, you are doing your thing and life is good and you're enjoying your career as well, too. But... There comes a time where you must quit the game. You got to settle down. You can no longer be living single like Sinclair. You must settle down and move into the home with the white picket fence, with the tire swing, with the apple pie cooling on the windowsill, coming home to your husband and your children. Now, if you're to quit the game, which one of these two gentlemen would you quit the game for? Um, are you a fan of the show Empire? Yes, a little bit. Okay, okay, fair enough. Would you quit the game for Andre Lyon, which is the light-skinned guy who's dating the, the, the white girl. The, he's like big and oh, muscular. Yeah, like the, bro the, like the middle brother? He's like the oldest brother. The oldest brother. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so is, is it coming the to your mind? Crazy, the yes. crazy guy. There yeah. you go, there you go. The not-so-nice one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Would you quit the game for him, or would you quit the game, and, and I feel terrible that I don't remember this guy's name, or would you quit the game for the, the guy who plays the security? Uh, he's like that that ex marine guy, and he's like hired by Lucius uh, as a security. He's like dark. He has an afro, has a little bit of a part in there. Have, have you seen? Him? Uh, no, I don't know. Okay, he has like a little love affair with with, uh, with cooking. Have, have you seen that guy? I, I only no, I only watched a couple episodes. I have to, I have to get on that. Okay, fair enough. Scrap that. Then. Scrap that. Um, <laughs> I, no, it's cool. It's cool. I like to improvise. Um, would you quit the game for more chestnut or? Shamar Moore. Shamar Moore. Shamar Moore, okay. Why Shamar Moore? Kanye has lost all sanity. <laughs> Whenever, when he put that bullshit out, Jesus album, he lost all sanity. Okay, I, don't, I didn't say it, you did. You damn right I did. I'm breaking the fourth wall as I say it too. Anyways, um, that's another story for another episode. Uh, now it's time to play the second game, which is a mainstay amongst all of our guests. And you already know what this one is. I. <laughs> quit the game. Oh, yes, 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 yes. All right, so you're no stranger to this game. Yes, yes. Uh, but I will remind the audience at home listening and uh, the ones who will be watching in the future, courtesy of YouTube, um, you are, you know, the eligible bachelorettes in this ultimate universe. You are wheeling and dealing, kiss stealing, jet flying, limousine riding, um, trailblazing, eyebrow raising. Um, you are doing your thing and life is good. And you're enjoying your career as well, too. But there comes a time where you must quit the game. you got to settle down. You can no longer be living single like Sinclair. You must settle down and move into the home with the white picket fence, with the tire swing, with the apple pie cool on the windowsill, coming home to your husband and your children. Now, if you're to quit the game, which one of these two gentlemen would you quit the game for? Um, are you a fan of the show Empire? Yes. 
A little bit. Okay, okay, fair enough. Would you quit the game for Andre Lyon, which is the light skinned guy who's dating the the, the white girl? The, he's like big oh, and muscular. Yeah, like the brother, the like the middle brother. He's like the oldest brother. The oldest brother. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. So is is it coming the, to your the mind? Crazy, the yes. crazy guy. There yeah. you go. There you go. The not so nice one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Would you quit the game for him, or would you quit the game? And and I feel terrible that I don't remember this guy's name. Or would you quit the game for the the guy who plays the security? Uh, he's like that that ex marine guy, and he's like hired by Lucius uh, as a security. He's like dark. He has an afro. Has a little bit of a part in there. Have, have you seen? Uh, him? No, I don't know. Okay, he has like a little love affair with with, uh, with cooking. Have, have you seen that guy? I, I only no, I only watched a couple episodes. I have to, I have to get on that. Okay, fair enough. Scrap that. Then scrap that. Um, <laughs> I, no, it's cool. It's cool. I to improvise. Um, would you quit the game for more chestnut or? Shamar Moore. Shamar Moore. Shamar Moore, okay. Why Shamar Moore? I don't know, he's just more attractive. Oh man, I was hoping you, you go for the chocolate once again. Oh, <laughs> oh, right. Oh, right. Yeah, I changed my mind now. Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> you know, no, I don't. No, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, he's just more attractive to me. I don't know. I don't know why. Yeah. He's just. Sexier. Fair enough, fair enough. I ain't hating. 